Hey everybody, it's just me LTM. Hope you're having a fantastic day. This is an update on my attempt to grow my own kombucha scoby. And as you can see, there are now two jars here, whereas before there was only one. Why is that you ask? Well, keep listening and watching and you'll find out why. This is the first jar in which I tried to make my kombucha scoby. This was my first experiment. It's still here in the jar, still trying to wait for something to happen. You know, sometimes you have to have a lot of patience for these things. And I do admit sometimes I'm not the most patient person, but I'm continuing on and let's see what's gonna happen with this one. The last update I did when I took off the lid, which I'll do now and we'll have a look inside. There wasn't any scoby on the top anymore. So you might remember that I, or if you've seen the other videos, and after about um, two weeks, it did start to grow a very thin, fragile scoby on the top of the liquid, which is commercial kombucha that I purchased at the shop, combined with the typical mixture of water, tea and sugar, as per a usual kombucha brew. So it had made a very thin scoby on the top, and then the next time I looked, the scoby had totally disappeared. Oh, the camera's gonna have trouble with that. There we go. And as you can see, again, there's, there really is no scoby on the top of that liquid anymore. I'm not concerned about those brown spots on the jar. They don't seem to be anything bad. They haven't changed at all. There is still this sludgy stuff on the bottom that you can see, and I think that's where the scoby ended up. Don't worry about that red light, it's not actually in, it's a reflection of something. Um, so yeah, so I think this is this is what happened to the scoby. It all floated, well, it didn't float, kind of disintegrated down to the bottom. I did contemplate putting some extra um, sugar, water, tea mixture in here. However, I haven't done that. I just thought I would leave it sit and see what happens. Now, because this wasn't being very successful and this has now been going for about four weeks, I thought I might start another experiment. So here is a kombucha scoby, try and grow your own scoby experiment number two, which I just started uh, a couple of days ago. So rather than adding some tea sugar water mixture to a purchased commercial kombucha, uh, fluid. This is simply just a commercial purchased kombucha in a jar and I'm just going to leave it sit on my bench for about three weeks and see what happens. So this time I purchased a different kombucha. This is Hippie brand. It is a local kombucha to me so it's it's made in in uh, Perth where I live, Perth Western Australia, made in fact in Osborne Park um, and it's organic and all of that kind of stuff so I figured it was a, a good one to try from more so than the other ones that were in the shop I did actually go to uh, an organic shop to purchase this so in this jar that you see there, all I did was simply I sterilized my jar, I waited for it to cool down, and then I poured uh, what was in the hippie bottle into this jar. So I'm just going to, I've covered as you, as you can see, as the other one is, with a paper towel that is secured with a rubber band. Uh, you do want this to breathe so I wouldn't have put the uh, normal jar lid on because that would be close to airtight and kombucha needs to breathe at this point of the process, of the fermenting process. So there was a little bit of gunk in the bottom of the hippie bottle, not a lot. Uh, when I say gunk I mean the residue, the floaty bits that's part of kombucha. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll bring this a little bit closer. Can't really see that there's much in the bottom of this jar. There doesn't seem to be a lot going on. 
But as I said, it's only been in there for a couple of days, maybe two days, maybe three. So let's see how this one goes. So if you want to keep following along, I will put a link at the end of this video to the previous videos that are about my experiment of trying to grow my own scoby so that I can make my own kombucha. I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you want to keep finding out more videos as I post them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.